You know, on CMA Networks, when we're talking about OEM integration, we could be talking about speakers. We could be talking about how to get the factory signal. Well, on today, we're not going to talk about only those things, but something much bigger. Yes, and when I say bigger, I'm talking screen size. And when it comes to screen size, one company comes to mind. Linkswell. We've got their product expert, Jonathan Detlifson, joining us. And I'll tell you what, he is coming a packing with the new applications that are about to come out that we're going to break the news on right here on CMA Connected. This is CMA Connected, brought to you by SiriusXM, all about Linkswell. And it starts now. What's going on, guys? And welcome to another CMA Connected, brought to you by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu, and we are talking the king of big screens for vehicles in the aftermarket. Yes, that's right. We're talking about the Linkswell Group. These guys have made a reputation for themselves with their T-style radios, taking mediocre screen sizes from the factory and absolutely blowing the dash up with giant displays that have honestly, you know, really taken notice by not only dealers, but consumers alike. It's what we want. It's what the trend is happening right now when it comes to automotive design. Jonathan, welcome back to the show once again, brother. And I know there's a lot to talk about. Give us a quick glimpse as to some of the things we'll be touching on on today's Connected. Yeah, Ben, man, it is super good. I always enjoy hanging out with you. It's kind of my one of my favorite things to do. But we've got some amazing things coming. Uh, a long-awaited, long, long-awaited Chevy Silverado application. The biggest screen we've ever fit in a dash, and I'm saying bigger than even our XL. We'll be talking about that. I even think we might even be talking about some of our universal applications with dual screens. Uh, man, we've got a lot of really cool things. Like it's been a couple years, I think, since I've been excited to show up at SEMA with some new stuff. And, and this is that year, man. Jonathan, all I can say is your energy and excitement is absolutely infectious. I can't wait to get into it with you. But first, a quick opportunity for our partner, SiriusXM, to remind you why it's always a great add-on sale. And when we come back, let's talk mega big screens with Linkswell. Don't you dare go away. Hi, Paul Truman here with SiriusXM. We reached out to some of our partners in the industry, and here's what they had to say. I can't say more or enough about just uh, what it means to have our unit working with SiriusXM, it's like we're there now. The SiriusXM service is something consumers want, right? So it's Paul. That allows a consumer to listen to either podcasts, entertainment, sports, all at their fingertips. It's all about engagement, and that's what SiriusXM provides. SiriusXM is a huge component uh, in a vehicle nowadays. Consumers expect that technology to be available, both in our OEM system as well as the aftermarket upgrades that they're applying to their vehicle. Alpine and SiriusXM, through our electronics, are able to offer the consumer on the aftermarket side SiriusXM 360L, which is an expanded platform for SiriusXM. And it's really been a beneficial relationship for us with SiriusXM. As a dealer, just remember, we don't compete with anybody else. We are absolutely one of the best profitability accessories you can add to any head unit that is Sirius XM ready. All right, welcome back to the show. As mentioned, we're talking about Linkswell, uh, that company that brings you these large format T-style screens to many different applications with the fit, the finish, the integration aspect, everything that you need. And of course, Apple CarPlay and wireless uh, Android Auto. But we're going to dive into one specific application, Jonathan, that honestly has been so sought after for so long. The vehicle's been out for quite some time. Of course, we're talking about, listen to this, the 19 to 23 Silverado and GMC Sierra. This platform is an ultra popular truck. And I think we have some news to share, Jonathan. What is the good word from Linkswell when it comes to an aftermarket giant or bigger screen option? All right. The word is finally. I think that's the best word to describe this application. Uh, we have had, I mean, we have we have released all kinds of different generations. We've released different applications. And I tell you, every time I post, it doesn't matter what vehicle I'm posting about, this is the one people have asked for. Uh, people have been seeking out a better radio for that 19 to 23 uh, Silverado for since it came out, since it came out. And uh, it has been a, a labor of love for us. We hired an entire team of engineers to kind of work it out. Uh, GM to, to, to make it as simple as possible. They, uh, they added some land bus data into it and there just weren't chips. Chips didn't exist to, to communicate with the truck. And so it took a ton of time, a ton of work, uh, to kind of work out, 
uh, how we could interface it. We went through a million different variants, whether we were just going to try and replace just the screen and, and retain all of the factory stuff because uh, it would be a lot less work on our end. Uh, but we just weren't happy with that. We wanted it to be a 100% Lynx Wool radio. We wanted everything that we talk about. Uh, we talk about how we are better than factory because we look factory, but we give you all the aftermarket stuff. And so, of course, we just we weren't going to settle. Uh, the owner wasn't going to settle and we just kept pressing on, pressing on and pressing on. And here we are. Uh, we are, um, I mean, we've had actual working ones in some trucks. Uh, we've had uh, the figured out bows. We figured out all of the variants. Um, so we're going to give you a 15.6 inch screen. So we're going to give you that T-style screen. Uh, if you guys have seen any of our T-style radios, they've got the really cool on-screen knob that's multifunction. We're going to go plug and play harnesses, fit and finish. Uh, when it comes into the dash, it's going to look like it belongs there. Uh, but what kind of we really, really wanted to work hard on was to be able to be a fully functional radio and not something that was just a screen replacement. And I can tell you from history, uh, we cut our teeth in integration uh, when it came to retaining factory stuff. And the factory is forever updating uh, the vehicle itself. And when the, when the factory can update the vehicle, you always leave yourself uh, susceptible to issues because they could run an update that affects your interface. And then you have problems that weren't yours and yet your customers are upset. So that was one of the biggest reasons we didn't want to rely on any GM parts. We really wanted to go all the way out. And so we did. And so we've got everything you want built in amp, of course, preamps. We got toss link out, uh, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, everything's gonna be beautiful. Even if you have the Bose system, we have a way to get around the Bose system because even that was a whole nightmare and a half when it comes to interfacing. So we've got a way around the Bose system, but we held out. I know I know the amount of, uh, the amount of messages that I have in Instagram to send the minute that they end up here in our warehouse and re ready to be sold uh, is in the hundreds, maybe even the thousands because it has been sought after. And uh, so I am like, I can't even there. Okay. There's one more thing I might be more excited about in this, in this show than this one, but it'll be very close. I'm so excited to release this one, man, because it has been asked for and asked for and asked for. And we are putting our stamp of, we, we didn't go early. We didn't let it out quick. We made sure it was exactly what it wanted to be. Everything you hope in a radio, we have it for you for that silver auto man. So I'm 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 just I'm super excited. Like I said, this one is super close to number one, if not number one. We'll talk about what I might be number one in a minute. But uh yeah, man, silver auto, all the cool things interfaced with all the all the great things you want on aftermarket radio. Uh, because that's what we do, man. That's what we do. We make it look factory, but give you all the stuff you want. Jonathan, I can't tell you how many times we also at CMA Net Networks have been messaged of to see if there were any solutions available on the market. So hearing these words coming from your mouth is very exciting for sure. We're going to take a minute and flash a couple pictures here. Now, I want to address this. These are kind of pre-production photos. This is like up to the minute what's going on right now at the moment of this video recording. Um, I want to show exactly what this looks like. Of course, if you have any experience with Linkswell T-style harness radios, they offer a complete OEM integration kit. What I mean by that is not only are you getting the screen, but you're getting everything you need to integrate into the vehicle, the bezel, the trim. They've taken everything into consideration. It is unbelievable to see the type of work involved in preparing all the harnesses and the connectors just so that the installation goes seamlessly. Now, I want to go I want to kind of dive into something you said there. The challenge to integrate into this vehicle has certainly been a journey. So, like, I want people to understand, like, really understand that a, a product like this doesn't just come off a shelf. It has to be developed. Yeah, that's the word developed. I think that's that's a phenomenal word because it it starts from from the ground up, from the base up. Uh, the the we had so many meetings with the engineer team and they fought hard. I mean, the the amount of hurdles that they had to get past to get to a point like i actually we were just at off-road expo and i was chatting with the guys over at edelbrock right Com has nothing to do with what we're doing they're all engine stuff and it wasn't until just like a week ago or two weeks ago that they were even able to interface with this new chevy platform because the electronics were just that difficult so we are not an edelbrock like we're a pretty small company when it comes down to it uh, so even for a company as, as large as Edelbrock to struggle the way they did to build something uh, that just tells you who we are and who our engineers are. Our engineers don't play. Our engineers come to win. Our engineers are some of the best in the industry. And uh, they proved the point uh, by being at this point, uh, really, we are the only full replacement 
uh, coming out for the Silverado uh, that replaces everything and interfaces the way they do. Uh, so it has been, it was a lot of work, painstaking work, lots of hours. Uh, but I'm going to tell you right now, it, it, it's going to be worth it. All right, Jonathan, uh, be straight with me, as I know you always are. Real talk, we are at the precipice of the introduction of this very important piece. Uh, SEMA's just around the corner. Where are we in the timeline as far as actually seeing a functional model um, in a vehicle functioning? Uh, and then further to that, what are we talking about for timelines of availability? All right, man, always with the hard questions. Uh, so we actually just yesterday picked up our very own uh, 19 Silverado. So we will have a working system installed, uh, the SEMA. So we're talking, we're just a couple of weeks away from SEMA. So if you're at SEMA, you can actually see one. And of course, once we have it, uh, our social medias will blast it. I will I will get photos and videos and all sorts of things happening uh, with it. We'll be on YouTube and all that stuff. So we should have a uh, pre-production working system that you can actually see here in just a couple of weeks. Um, I would have say with that, uh, barring anything major happening, would probably be towards the end of the year, they'd be available uh, for purchase and in stock. Uh, yeah, man. So you could see one within a couple weeks and then own one within a couple months. I think that's safe to say. All right. So there you have it. Big news for you, a Silverado or a GMC a Sierra owners out there, 19 to 23 imminent. Check it out at SEMA. Check it on the Linkswell booth. I think that's going to cause an absolute ruckus. Okay. Jonathan, you mentioned earlier that that is one of two items that you were absolutely excited about. And I see the item here on my list. So I'm going to bring it up. We're going to go from Silverado to another incredibly uh, important and popular platform. You guessed it, the 21 and up F-150. Now, got some okay screenage in that car for different options, depending on the trim level. What has Linkswell cooked up for this platform? Yeah, man. So uh, I am just about as excited. Like I said, I might be more excited. And here's why. You want to know why? I'm going to be real with you right now. This is going to be me getting on the couch of a psychologist and being real. I feel like Ford, when they released their big screen, was calling us out. I feel like Ford was calling us to a screen battle. And uh, so we answered that screen battle with the biggest screen we or anyone has ever aftermarketly fitted into a vehicle. So what we did is we took uh, all of the amazing technology and uh, cool things that we already know how to do. And uh, we decided that instead of doing... Uh, our typical, you know, 15 inch screen, uh, T style XL for this one, we would go up to an 18.5 inch screen. So yeah, I'm a bit excited, man, because, uh, I've been here from the get go. And so I can remember how excited I was to see our first 10 inch screen in a dash. I was like, Oh my gosh, that is the biggest thing I've seen in the world. How in the world did they make that fit? And then we ended up with some 12 inch screens and I was like, wow. And then we came out with the XL with a 15 inch screen. And we've had, I've actually had this conversation with a couple of our dealers going from even a 12 to 15 is crazy. It's crazy how much bigger it actually feels in the dash. So the fact that we're going from 15 to 18, I'm telling you, man, I, uh, I am just, I'm ecstatic. Like I just, I feel like I'm going to be ruined. Like I'm going to get into the F-150 and then I'm going to get back into our Jeep that has the 15 inch screen and I'm going to be like, oh, it's just a 15 inch screen. That's how excited I am because I'm telling you, man, 18.5 inch screen. Ford called us out. We came swinging. We win. Bigger screen. Sorry, Ford. You know, we've been doing this for some time, Jonathan, and I never would have imagined that we would get to a place where we're talking about 18 inch screens in the aftermarket. And here we are. Uh, talk to me a little bit about the design, how this how you made this fit. And what is, I mean, I don't even know what to ask you right now. 18 and a half inches. Like who puts that in a car? I guess Linkswell does. Yeah. So what we did is we, um, we got this shrink ray thing and we, no, I'm just kidding. We didn't do anything crazy like that. No, it, we just, you know, like everything else, man, we go in there with all of the tooling. We scan the dash. We get all the nooks and crannies, figure out all the snaps, all the screws, all the bolts, figure out what we can do. And then we take that to the drawing board and then our engineers just get, they get jiggy with it, man. That's all I can say is they get jiggy with it. They go looking for screens because uh, and you might not know. Maybe you do know. Maybe our listeners don't know. But just a 12-inch screen, the sizing, because it's 12 inches, they always measure corner to corner. Uh, but not all 12-inch screens are actually the same ratio. Some of them are wider and shorter. And so it kind of changes. So what ends up happening is we get into a truck like we did in this new F-150. 
we do all the scan work, we create all the CAD files, and then we start figuring out what the max parameters are for how far wide we can go and how far up we can go, how far down we can go. We get the biggest screen footprint we can, and then we go looking for screens. And then we find all the screens, and then you know what we do? We go through all the testing of the screens. Because just because it's big doesn't mean it's good. So then we go through all the testing of the screens, figure out what screens are going to have the best resolution, what screens are going to fit the best, which screens have the best response, all of that stuff. And then we start to build it and put it all together so that you end up with something as mind blowing as an 18 inch screen in your dash. But because we've done all of the work to make sure that we're not just sticking up, we don't want it to look like an iPad double stick tape to your dash. We want it to look like it belongs there. We want two things with our radios. One, we want the wow factor. And two, we want you to question, is that even factory? Does that look like that's what we were doing? So with everything else, of course, we're going to come with all the bezeling for you, color matched, texture matched. It's going to fit in there like it belongs. It's not going to look like it doesn't belong. It's not going to look like it's an aftermarket kit. It's going to look factory. Of course, we're going to have all your T harnesses. So we're going to plug and play for you. We're going to keep your steering wheel controls. We'll keep your seat heaters. We'll keep your, your seat massagers. We keep all the, the factory audio systems, all those things, all integrated factory camera system, factory 360 camera, all of those things. We're going to retain that. So even if you had the higher trim truck that had some of the cool features, you're not going to lose those with us. And you're going to gain a 15 in, or an 18 inch screen. Sorry, 15. See, I'm so used to saying 15. I almost did it again. 18, man. I'm telling you. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they did it, to be honest with you. I'm not an engineer. I'm just a dreamer. And so when they said, hey, we think we could do an 18 inch screen here. I said, no more thinking, guys. Just do. I like Yoda it. Like, don't think, do. Is that, was it? No, don't be. I don't know. Whatever Yoda says. I was like, man, just get that 18 inch screen in there because Ford called us out and we're going to win. All right, Jonathan, you've been dropping some hammers on this session. We're talking about a solution for the Silverados and now an 18 and a half inch screen for Ford F-150 21 and up. Um, you did mention one more thing. I do want to slide this in there. And it's not because it's not as interesting or it's not as important as the other ones. But I find what we're about to talk about now is another very innovative solution coming to you from Linkswell. It has something to do with being able to provide a dual screen setup. Jonathan, do tell. Yeah, man. So because... We we really, I mean, we made our name in the factory integration, um, but because our our products are just so special, uh, we have always from day one actually had this big push for a lot of the custom rod guys, the guys that wanted to do like full on interior builds, and they wanted something for um, for them. Uh, so what we came up with, uh, with all of these new cars, like if you get into any of these new luxury cars, they have like a dash that's like a panoramic of screens, right? Like it's like your cluster's a screen, your radio's a screen, and then there's a passenger mirror screen or something. Like it's just one big panoramic thing. And so we were like, well, we could do something like that. So what we've done is we've created like this panoramic radio, which is essentially like two 10 inch screens where you're gonna be able to do dual sources, dual signals, dual things. And then one of the cool things that's kind of fun is you can kind of fling them back and forth. So if you want the, the video over here, you want your, your dash features and stuff over here. So the idea really, is that we're trying to kind of come up with a really cool techie way for us to kind of get something into some of these custom, full custom builds where they're building the entire dash where you want to do like uh, cluster features as well as radio features, as well as control other things uh, in kind of a new way. Uh, some of these dashes, like you think of these old hot rods, man, the dashes are kind of narrow and short and they don't really give you the option to do a vertical screen. So we just kind of played around with this idea. So we're coming out with this kind of this dual screen setup uh, which I think for a guy that's built a few show cars and a few custom cars and who's always thinking about like how you can make something cooler. I really think this is going to be something that uh, kind of takes some of these builds to another level. Like it's really going to take the interior and, and turn the interior into like a really high tech uh, interior in some of these old classic cars. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool thing. I mean, it's hard. I feel like if we weren't releasing a 19 and up a Silverado in a big 18 inch screen F-150, this one would feel all that more exciting because uh, it is super exciting. It just seems kind of hard to come behind those two. Uh, that's just kind of my personal thing. But yeah, I think it's going to be really cool, man. Dual screens, AM, FM, uh, course preamps, all the stuff that you want uh, in one of our one of our radios, uh, Android base. So you get the Internet, you know, cool stuff like that. Dual screen kind of make your dash look cool.
All right, so in summary, three big drops as far as news coming to you from Linkswell. The first being the Silverado, the second being a giant 18 and a half inch screen for F-150, and now a very innovative dual screen system, perfect for those real custom builders that want that modern look, but maybe want to be able to retrofit that into an older vehicle. All right, summarize this for us, because I would be remiss. I'd get all kinds of heat if I didn't ask the question. Can you break down for us the timelines and availabilities for the, uh, the items discussed on today's show? Yeah, timelines, man. That's always the game, isn't it? Uh, so honestly, timelines is we will have functioning stuff for you to see here in a couple weeks at SEMA. So if you're in the if you're coming to SEMA, make sure you stop by so you can actually see them. That we're not making this up. That these are real um, production time. I mean, honest. If I'm honest, you're probably looking end of year, beginning of next year, uh, just because we got to source things, get all those little like kind of kind of little last things figured out. So you will see them starting at shows here in a couple weeks. Uh, you could probably buy them uh, in a couple months. That was Linkswell product expert Jonathan Detlifson coming into the studio today to drop some major news about some new applications that I'm sure many, many, many folks are going to be excited about. Now, if you want to get more any information on any of the products, stay connected with their socials or better yet, visit their website that we'll put on the screen right now. And if you happen to be a dealer in Canada and you're interested in becoming a future Linkswell dealer, Definitely connect with the team over at Automobility, as Automobility is the distribution partner for all things Linkswell in Canada. Now, here's my takeaway. You know, Linkswell is one of those brands that just don't settle. I mean, look at the innovations. Look at the envelope that they are pushing when it comes to not only fitment integration, but also just overall pleasure and enjoyment of your vehicle. 18 and a half inches, who would have thunk it? Well, here we are. My recommendation, if you're heading to SEMA, definitely stop by the Linkswell booth. Have a demo for yourself. I'm sure Jonathan and the entire team will be in the booth ready to show you exactly all the features that he de described on today's show. But more importantly, take a closer look at the fit and finish and just, you know, no limits, man. Linkswell is bringing the goods and they're bringing it big. That's it for the CMA Connected brought to you by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect.